So um, uh, by releasing that report that you have released, did you address uh, some challenges to government? And also, is the government cooperate with you or not? Or the local areas, the provincial um, officials? Right. Um, yes. Um, in many of the, the recommendations that I've just mentioned in fact come from a fairly detailed and careful analysis of the challenges that, that government faces. I think the overall challenge for government is to ensure that the delivery of physical goods like the delivery of roads and water uh, and health and so on is not simply an end in itself but is actually leveraged into and produces long-term institutional development so that, so that the government itself becomes much more effective in the long term in government, uh, sorry, in the long term in Afghanistan at, at, at all layers of society. Um, so I think the, the core challenge really for the government is, <coughs> is to ensure that um, the uh, formal institutions of government in fact become much stronger, that they penetrate all the way down um, to uh, communities to provide uh, good governance at the local level and to deliver services there. So that's the overall challenge. And then in terms of particular ways to uh, meet that challenge, I mentioned a number of, of um, recommendations earlier. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, what about, uh, could you tell me some information about the independent department for a local administration that uh, newly created? Yes. Um, uh, uh, we are very excited about this development. Um, this is the agency which has been established under Director General Popol. Um, we've uh, met with him as the bank um, uh, a, a number of times already. In fact, I, I had a meeting with him earlier this afternoon. We're very encouraged uh, by this development because it seems to us that the Afghan government has made a deliberate decision to uh, focus much more intensively on strengthening the sub-national governance and service delivery system and the instrument that they have decided to put in place to actually uh, lead these reforms is clearly this new agency. Um, we've been very impressed with, uh, in our meetings with the Director General thus far, um, and we're very keen to um, establish um, a, a good and solid relationship uh, with him and with the agency going forward. So, uh, your projects, does your, uh, th these projects that in a local area that uh, you made, so does it affect on local people positively? Yes. And does it bring some changes in their um, current life? Right. Um, yes, uh, very, very much so. Um, you know, I think that uh, the example I used earlier was that of the community development councils. and. Um, what happens there is that um, uh, local villages come together, they elect a, um, uh, 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 what is called a CDC jura, um, and money is made available to the jura to then spend on um, local bridges, local roads, local water supply systems, but very much at the, at the, at the community and village level. Right? We believe that this um, brings about uh, uh, material <coughs> And concrete improvements in the uh, conditions of the life of, of people and as I say um, uh, I think well over half Afghanistan now is covered by these CDCs so we think that uh, um, has been a very useful um, exercise but again uh, many challenges remain it's very important that ultimately CDCs and the many other structures of government um, at the local level for example, schools management committees, which have been, have been established by the Ministry of Education uh, to run schools at village level, um, that all of those consolidate and become um, effective delivery uh, and governance ag agencies uh, going forward. And that means that uh, you know, appropriate strategies are going to have to be developed for that, appropriate funding support, um, but we're uh, quite hopeful um, of, of this all um, working out reasonably well in the long term. Uh, thank you. So at the end, if you uh, tell me, please, the, the, about your future plans for local areas and also for, for provincial administrations. Okay. Um, at the moment, we're sort of expanding 
um, our program of work in this in this whole area quite rapidly. Um, we have an ongoing with the, uh, dialogue with the government. So to answer your earlier question, we in fact work very closely with the government in, in, in all of our areas, including the CDC programs uh, and, in our, in our, and in our analytic work. Um, but we have an expanding dialogue with the government around um, uh, subnational governance and service delivery. We've got two broad types of work that we're undertaking there. The first type is really our analytic and, and policy advisory work for the government. And I can mention one example is that we are, we've just actually commenced a study which looks at the whole situation concerning revenues and expenditures at the, um, at the subnational level, right? Looks at, at provincial revenues, provincial expenditures, municipal revenues, expenditures, and so on. And, on, and based on that, I think uh, ourselves, the donor community, government will have a much clearer picture of what's going on and will then be able to make much better informed policy decisions going forward. So that's the one type of work that we have and as I said it's expanding. The other type of work that we have are our operational projects where we actually are investing in um, institutions and in physical assets on the ground. All right? um, and we have a wide variety of, of projects which ultimately impact in some or other way the subnational system. So I mentioned the CDCs earlier, that's just one example. When we work in the education sector or in the health sector, we're increasingly looking at opportunities to try and uh, 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 leverage governance changes at the local level, for example, th through things like schools management committees and so on. So we have a, a big and expanding yeah. uh, agenda of work in this area. Yeah, Mr. Ronald White, thank you very much for uh, you were, uh, giving me time and also to, for coming to Afghanistan. Okay. It, it's, uh, it's a pleasure and I enjoy working and being here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.